our subscribers are crazy intelligent. I just love it. You guys ask the best questions, and they're legit. So here's one that I get asked a lot, so I'm going to explain it. People are always saying, they're always saying, how does the water move in the pipe when there's all these holes? Because the thought behind it is, does the water just fall out as easy as it goes in? So I get that. That's legit, guys. Trying to figure out how this pipe works, don't, don't screw yourself into the ground, man. Um, it's this simple. We wanted these big outlets for two reasons. One, the water goes right into this pipe, and this pipe acts as a giant void. Just like we go up in size on aggregate, the larger the aggregate, the bigger the voids. Say you don't have big aggregate available to you. Say you get stuck using small stone. Well, then it's even more important that you put two pipes in because you create the voids. This is a giant void, two four-inch pipes. That is a monster void in your system. And I'm going to teach you some more stuff here in this video real quick because the guys want to start putting stone in. Now over here we're going to have a T and the discharge is going to go to the storm drain. With these big inlets and the high octane, the water collected in this pipe just passes through into this pipe. Now we're going to put a T here, but that's how we do it. People always say, hey, what's going on here? You're not connecting these two pipes. Well, I, it's a big void. It's like having monster aggregate. You'd have to have 12 inch or 18 inch, you know, brown rock to create the kind of voids we're creating. So that is what we do here. Now, see how big these voids are? Any dirt or contaminants will pass right through these voids. They'll pass right through these pipes. Can you believe that? It's awesome. That's why we had Boffman Tile open up the inlets on the high octane. We love the yellow and it moves water. You know, it really does. But it doesn't move dirt like the high octane does so we love it because what we're finding out is not everybody's getting good washed stone and they're cutting corners they're cutting corners because washing stone that that costs a lot of money to put stone through a wash plant so people are getting stone that's already kind of compromised it's got dirt in it even we have been getting stone that's why i know and it costs a lot of money in diesel fuel to run a wash plant so if these guys can sell you the stone at the same price and don't have to put it through that last step they save a small fortune so here's the sprinkler poking through we've been getting a lot of questions see it's ready to now that these pipes are in we'll be able to attach that and then put the stone in and right now francisco's putting a solid this is for the gutters all the downspouts are ran to the solid and you always want you always want your solid pipe on top, your perforated pipe down below. Water, water runs downhill. The only kind of water that comes up is flood water. So that's why your perf pipes have to be at the bottom. So remember, this is a big void. Water just passes right through it because of these monster inlets. Also, the dirt in the stone that you buy I love when our systems run on their very first hard rain. The reason why I love that, because the water just comes out so muddy, so dirty. And then as the system ages, the water starts coming out like it's from uh, a mountain stream. It's, it's clear as can be. So that's why these monster inlets for yard drains are a must. Now you couldn't use these monster inlets on the farm because you don't have any aggregate. They don't build them with stone. And the other thing, when you open up a pipe with this large inlet and you use a big machine like a tile plow to put it in, you're gonna probably rip that pipe. Honestly, this pipe's so strong, I, you probably could do it, but Boffman Tile wants me to tell you, farmers, do not use high octane with your tile plows. Use the eight slot yellow premium. And again, guys, this pipe on top is for downspout water. 
and we just want to run it as far away as we can. We want to get it as close to the storm drain as we can. And there we go. It's that simple. So this pop-up will have the material fabric. The stone will come up to here. And then we'll do the material fabric. We'll cut it out. And then we'll put the sod right up to it. So shingle, gravel, and leaves that come off the roof. They just end up in the grass, and the lawnmower will just mulch that. It won't be an issue. You'll never even see it. You'll never even know it's there. All right, guys, until the next video.